doke. So I suppose we're going to get started. Who wants to maybe do a recap today? Well, Alexa and uh, Gustav are fucked in some sort of <laughs> dwarven outpost where there was some sort of uh, gemstone that uh, activated a, a, a living statue that killed everybody. <laughs> And the dwarves are sealed in because they thought they were under siege. So um, everybody's dead in here. We're injured. We can't stand another fight, but we have to get the gear to open the gate to let us out. Probably going to die. Yeah. We'll probably die. Fun times. What about the other side of the party? Uh, we stopped the riots in the city. Uh, in, in one of the market sectors. What I said. Sounds better. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. You use your fantastical wealth to, uh, literally pay them all off. Now they're working for you. Yep, set them all up in housing. They're all getting fed. They all have a job. They all have a paycheck. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, flip a coin. Which side wants to start it off? The above world or the below world? I'll toss it to people who are about to die. <laughs> okay, I guess. All right, happen. over to death. Back to the dwarven ruins. I believe last time you had resolved to. Uh, head down the quarters and see what was at the end yeah. of the corridor. Yeah, I think we found was the statue holding the gear. <laughs> yeah, and we didn't know if we maybe needed to get that, him... Uh, that, I it... believe, is uh, what the fortune that uh, Gustav had cast... Yes. That it would be a, such a simple task. Yeah, right. But that was but also yesterday. We just, we don't know if we should uh, give it uh, give to him it the uh, gem or just grab the gear and run for our lives. Well, if you proceed down the corridor in that direction. Oh no! Um, was it control or shift to mute, move people's view? Uh, I just we, press enough buttons. There we go. I don't think we are going right now. I kind of think we are going to give him. I still say him, but give it the gem first. So you are going to go down, and you are going to swipe the gem. Yeah, uh, yeah, with. Alex on yeah. the lookout for if the statue is... Right, I have to <laughs> constantly watch the statue. <laughs> I mean, I'm the lookout uh, on this place to see if the statue is coming to kill us once we <laughs> mess with Jim. Alright. Uh, so, who's going to take it off of the pedestal? Uh, I'll stay time. here because you can float up and down to get it. Yeah. And I All forgot, right. but I have plus 10, right, to any Shannon. channeling test because I have this, um, I have the glyph of Azir on me, right? Yes. Yes, I forgot to add that, but. That would be a try. <laughs> oh, indeed. It's like some kind uh, of rainbow gem that's some in manifestation of elf magic or something, if I recall. Yeah. Eye it's magic. It's crazy. All it's right. Crazy. So, as you reach for the gem, go ahead and roll me a magical sense roll. Uh, uh, wait, it's a new day, right? So I get my fortune back. Yay! 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 Alexa gets hers back today, right? Yep. As a massive success. <clears throat> As you reach out for it, you can sort of see it uh, spike with magic a little bit. Almost literally. Like it might be 
like some sort of magical energy might be reaching out to you as you touch it. But you kind of just move your hand out of the way and just scoop it out from underneath and hold it in your hand and it uh, goes dormant. Woof. That must be like tell, as long as you're holding it in your possession, it um, seems safe for now. Cool. I don't feel cursed, so... <laughs> yeah! I... <laughs> you don't feel cursed. Not hey, yet. I'm not dead like the dwarf, so... That's it's such a rafferty thing to say. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not dead like the dwarf who put it back, so that's... That's bonus. And I guess i uh, gonna float with magic. Alright. So you float back up top oh. easily enough. All right, no need to roll. Yeah, no need to roll. <laughs> yeah, I mean I have three dice with this thing, I guess, right? It's some magic, so I'll just sit here or stand here or whatever, watching the statue. Just go. Gonna... Uh, yes. Just gonna watch it. <laughs> Nothing major. Uh, with your magical sense roll, I'm gonna go ahead and give you the opportunity that. Uh, while holding it in your hands, once, you can get an extra magical die. Hmm. <clears throat> I will figure out a precise power later on, but that will be the power for the current adventure. I mean, I don't think we're gonna... That depends, but for now, we kind of... The plan is kind of leave it here, but... As much as I would like to... <laughs> I mean, you say that, but he also took it already. Yeah, to give it back to the statue, but... Um, yeah. We'll see. And if the thing is gonna kill us anyway, I might as well grab the magic things, but... Yep, yep. Alright, then. So, you have it in your hands now, and where are you heading? Uh, towards Alexa. On the statue to trade. Well, I mean, where exactly in the uh, outposts are you heading? To the quarters and then yep. up towards this direction. The quarters where Alex is. All right, so if you scroll you back down, are. your tokens are in fact on the map. So you have full control over them, and as soon as you open the door, uh, you as you approach down the corridor, uh, Gustav, you sort of feel your vision going a little bit black and white. Whoa. Only to suddenly be replaced by, like, the iridescent shine of Geode throughout your entire vision, down the entire corridor. And you can hear scraping and scratching all over. Oh, it's moving, all right. Can I see it move? <laughs> we well, can. We have an open door. This is—it's a little bit creepy in the corridor. It's—it's it's cold. It's dusty. As you like walk forward, like you're kicking up little clouds of it as you go, and as you kick up one particular cloud, you even kick out a skeleton. Okay. But uh, you don't see this weird irid decent stuff that uh, Gustav is. I'm gonna cast my ma mage armor real quick. You know, okay. just in case. Just cause. Uh, yeah, channeling. Yeah. Wow. Huge success. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. Uh, don't need to use two magic. Uh, what's the worst that could happen? Like meals, meals go bad. Yeah. Suddenly everything explodes. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's open the door. Some really low rolls there, but yeah. Okay, so you go ahead and open the door. Okay. Uh, it does require a key, but you happen to have the key in your yep. hand. Now, if I could just select this. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and delete it. <clears throat> As you open the door, it opens up into a large foyer with, in fact, a number of statues inside. Oh, no. 
Okay. Just, the the two statues in the center are the largest and easily reach up to the ceiling uh, several meters up into the up into the air. They I appear like to be it. having their they have their hands outstretched, shaking each other's hands in some type of agreement. Uh, like around it. the area, though, you see the rubble of other statues. Get the feeling that there's something more going on here. That maybe this whole thing is. I, uh, never gonna look at statues the same. Yeah, yeah right I'm. When we're, we're not going here with all that. I'm gonna cast mash light. We're not going here without some sort of visions. Uh. Not doing that much like yeah. Two Is this a uh, camera No, all players don't see it, so Yay. No really. Yeah, okay. Yay. It that's this area is dark for you, by the way, just just to confirm it yeah. on your end. That's okay, why cool. I'm gonna cast okay, I think I have <clears throat> Four lights? We also fixed your, uh, your text formatting again. This time it's stuck. Oh. Marsh mm. lights. Create the appearance of a number of distant lights. That's the just numbers. Uh, I don't like the number. I want to fix number. No, how much I can. Alright, let me well, go it's ahead usually and. Um... Depending on the, uh, your magic. Uh... I don't think this one is since it's petty magic. And petty magic is doesn't really evolve. Uh, maybe you're right. Well, maybe. I just know that most uh, magics are depend the the specifics are yeah. dependent upon your magic characteristic. So it says a number and how bright they are. Total lan lantern and yeah, it's just a number. And I believe uh, that'd be 15 meters for torches? Uh, I think so. But yeah, just a number, not... Uh, guess... And how many of them? I guess... Four will be alright? I really don't know. One... Do two, three, four. And they can appear at 50 square on 100 yards. So, whoop, whoop, whoop. Uh, oh boy. Uh, wow. Uh, did you... Wait. Shall I just spread them out for you? Uh, yes. I'll do it. Yeah, you should have a uh, proper control of them. Uh, <laughs> no, no. Ah, come back. Uh. Yeah, all I have to do is remain in line of sight. So. But yeah, I can't find anything. Uh, anything that says yeah. how many, rather. Yeah, just same number. What is your magic oh, characteristic? Four seems Two. pretty good. Two, but that really doesn't seem to matter. None of the petty magic spell scale up with a magic characteristic. Alright, I might actually have to reduce the uh, sight of this uh, camera torch just so that I can get a better idea of what everyone is seeing as a player. All right. So you spread your lights out, and you can see, of course, a few of the corridors that uh, extend out into the rest of this uh, small manor, and the number of doors uh, up against the walls. You can see, I believe since you've sent your light over here, you can see that this one over here is somewhat ajar. Yeah. 
I mean, I can move them, but... Uh... Oh boy, this is not good. Not good at all. Oh, we can't get into a fight, because I'll die. Don't say that. Uh, I'm remembering my doom. Oh no. Anyway. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's move forward and get that gear, huh? Sure. Let's just, like, not turn our back on anything. Okay. Do you want to go back to back or something? Or Yeah. <laughs> back to the wall. You know, back to the wall and then just sort of screw at the edge. Yeah. Ah, but then you'll put your back to a statue. Yeah, but I don't think the dwarf statue of a oop, evil one. Ah, oh, this one disappear. Oop. Okay. So the two of you uh, edge your way around the wall, trying to keep your uh, heads facing forward and nothing behind you. Yeah. Uh, I mean, they stay here for an hour, so I can let them. Uh. All right. Oh, I can speak to this one. Indeed, that one too also appears to be a jar now. Oh no! Someone's polymorphing okay. all of these doors. <laughs> <laughs> this doors has mimic. The mimic exists in. Huh. I Good question. I, I'm not I sure I saw does. one. I mean, I'm it's sure a demon yeah. could be. Yeah, could tell me appearance of anything. Yeah, anything can happen. Well, let's move a little bit more fast, huh? <laughs> uh, let's try. Seems to be a chamber of sort. So, this one or this one? No choice. I'll do the closest one to me. All right. All right, you step away. You're back off the wall. Ah, and something comes behind you. No. It's good. And dynamic lighting layer. <laughs> you walk up to open the door, sliding it out of the way and revealing. A uh, rather nice little uh, parlor room. It's definitely seen better days, but things seem pretty all right here. It looks mm. mostly untouched. This is Dust, of course, indeed. is gathered everywhere. Except for... Give me a perception. Let's see if you notice anything. Uh, can I do perception as well, since I can see <clears throat> better on that um, she opened the door? Oh, absolutely. Yay. I'm still too jittery. Because <laughs> my intelligence got up. Maybe I... I'm a smarter boy. Ah, but not smart enough. Ah, dang. Yep. Uh, and same with Alexa. So neither of you quite notice anything, uh... Anything <laughs> wrong at the moment. <laughs> Um, well, I am a little curious as to why this is not, appears to be unchecked or un, you know, why the rest of the place had movement, but this one didn't. So can I do a quick cert? Uh, uh, say that again, you're looking for movement? Well, I, I, well, nothing well, out nothing's, of the nothing's ordinary. moved here yet. Yeah. So, like, why, why was this completely untouched, whereas others had movement and whatever? So everybody must have died really fast then. Um, 
if nobody decided to like try to barricade themselves in a room or something. So I'd like to just do a search to see if I can find okay. footprints or find movement or even if okay. there's something. Are you going to do it in that area that you're standing right now, or are you going to do it like inside the parlor? I will walk inside. Okay. Uh, while she does that, I think it will be wise to cast second part of ammo to have some rerolls before the thing is upon us. Good idea. Yay! Well, wow! Well. <laughs> you did it! All right. As you uh, quietly search the room, uh, you don't notice a whole lot of signs of struggle initially. However, you can tell that the rug is sort of crumpled, like uh, someone has pushed it away. And you can see a few spatter splatterings of uh, dried blood around sort of this area. Mm. Not to mention, you can see where it looks like the dust has been disturbed recently. Uh -huh. Like something was being dragged around. And if I'm going to go ahead and do a map, let me do. You see, the dust has been kind of disturbed, like. <laughs> like this. Of course. Anything? Uh, there's some footprints going. Uh, oh, no. More like drag marks. Drag marks, yeah. Uh, in. Which, uh... I'll, I'll give the direction. It looks like it's coming from that door and it's going down the hallway. Isn't... What would it mm. be dragging, though? I thought it was the... Hmm. Kind of oh, thought it was the opposite. You, you're just only using the floating lights right now. You don't have, like, a glow on your staff or anything. Uh, no, I have a glow on my staff, I think. Okay. I mean, I can test it if you want, but I... Like, that's just what I've had on you yeah. for default. There's 90... Yeah, there's 99% to chance of me succeeding so but i okay. can get once uh sure go ahead and just press right. it for reference in case something terrible goes wrong and you you have it okay uh right. so let's see so right. you went searching and you uh just went ahead and cast your second port of ammo okay yeah <clears throat> uh okay so the parlor is still there what do you intend to do want um, me to come we should probably go. We gotta find the statue because it has the, it has the gear. Yeah. So it's. I think it's going down the hallway, and it's certainly been activated. Can we check this door first to be sure she's not in? It's not in here, and we're not going to. That's true. It might be going the other way. Okay. Yeah. So let's. I'll check that door. Too. All right. I got your back. Run and let me zap him. You f All right. So you approach the door and peer in. Be careful. You see what you see. I don't see anything. Oh my god, you're blind! Gustav, while she's in that room, and yeah. most still mostly in your sight, you do hear scratching and scraping in this direction. Alexa, there's something down the hole. Okay, I'll go back, because I can't actually see inside the door. What? You cannot... Uh... Uh, uh, would you like to open the door so that I can remove it? Yeah, that's what I meant. I wanted to open the door. There we go. Can you, uh, properly move in? There you go. Oh! I see the gear! <clears throat> Indeed. Okay. It is a very large and, uh... Very obvious gear. It appears to be uh, sort of rusted green. 
Oh, well, I will take the gear and say, Gustav, I'm taking the gear and coming back. Good. Uh, I'm going to light my way because I think the thing is closed, so don't be alarmed if you don't just... Oh, boy. Oh, my God, I saw something. <laughs> We're <laughs> jumping at shadows now. Ah! Yeah. All right. New plan. We run. Um, why don't we slowly and not try to uh, uh, let anything know that it's, something's here. So Give me a uh, perception check. Oh, God. This is scary. Yeah. Perception. We both see. All right. You do, in fact, hear more noises coming from. Um, you can hear them coming from outside initially, but they scamper away very quickly. Oh boy. And then you can hear the sound of the stone door from that you originally entered the manor here from close. <laughs> Why? All right, let's go. <laughs> Fuck it. Inside that room, you see uh, what looks to be a rather simple bedroom, maybe for uh, a child. You can kind of see like a little toy box in one corner, and a, at... a child's body in its before, bed, before as well as a window peeking out into the ravine. Oh, okay. It would appear this sort of manor, this part of the outpost, guts out into the ravine and gets you a nice view out into it. I but close the door, be honest. The window is broken. And it Close appears all glass shards have fallen inside. Close the door, be honest. Do, do, do. And then I will stick my head out the window and see if there's a path. You stick your head out the window, and there doesn't appear to be a path outside. Rather, it appears to be sort of a steep drop off into the abyss. Well. That was a bad idea on my part, sorry. <laughs> well, um, so, oh god, how did it- Go ahead and give me a, another perception roll. Oh, wait. Oh. I have a spell to reveal, um, well, you see, but I have a spell to reveal secret passage. I succeed. Are you there, Griff? Uh, yeah, I was just kind okay. of uh, thinking for a moment. Uh, also was waiting on Gustav to cast a spell he said was casting, too. Oh, um, no, I thought it was an idea, but I'm not going to... Yeah, you don't uh, hear anything else for now. Well, um, you could always try floating out. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Can I see the rest of the hold? From Indeed, the you can. The, the hold is uh, sort of halfway exposed to the ravine, that if you were out in it and you flew up high enough, you could just sort of like see into the marketplace and uh, a few of the other locations. How far is it? Is it too far? <clears throat> Uh, you walked a fair distance, I'd say maybe like, uh, three, two to three hundred meters. Oh, so it's crossable in two minutes, right? Uh, it depends on your speed, I suppose. Uh, six, I guess. Six normal, my normal speed, so I don't know. 
You're a human, so you'd have four. Uh, no, when I um, when oh, I float, I have, I have six. Okay. Okay, so you have six speed, and you can double move. Can you like run and triple that? I don't know. Let me. What would be a good piece of information? Uh, shop the seeds, damage, and movement. Mm hmm Chapter 6. Uh, where is Chapter 6? Oh, no, 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 no. Movement. Uh, flying. Here we go. Ping. Hmm. We at least have that. That is 20 rounds, and I believe every minute has six rounds. How many minutes do you say you can fly? Two. Okay. Yeah, no. So if you can just double move then, then I know exactly how far you can go. I this works just like movement characteristic, but I'm pleased both for you. Um Yeah? Yeah, I guess I can. You can run, okay. Let's divide it by Okay. So I know exactly how far you can move then. Yeah, I can double move. Uh, well, my question was, can you run? Uh, guess so. Yeah, since running is just okay. a movement. Yeah. Okay. Dope. So you can run through the air. I know exactly how far you can move. Uh, now the question is, is that what you're going to do here now? Now that you're would, stuck here in this room, would that work? That's a good question. Go. You could maybe mm. make some kind of intelligence roll to try to estimate uh, time and speed yourself. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Maybe there's some kind of academic thing that could help you. Ah, I'm going to... Oh, yeah, I can make magic. It's the same. I'm going to roll that with my first button of ammo. Okay. Woohoo! Hey, you know exactly. <clears throat> Yeah. You start running it through your mind, and at first you go, yeah, I can totally make this. This is easy. And then you sort of run the numbers on your hand a little bit and realize, hold up a second. You're going to just barely not reach it. Ah. You might definitely, uh, if you try to reach to the marketplace, you might definitely have to uh, cast again. But, mm. if you were willing to drop down into the cesspool again, you might be able to make it work. Hmm. Sure. Well, cesspool? Um, okay. It's that or we go back to try to open the door with the thing inside. Yeah, it's it's walking around and it's it's obviously active now. So, um, sure, let's get out of here. All right. Uh, first, I'm gonna stop glowing light. So I'm gonna drop my stuff and get it back. No more lights. I'm gonna take Alexa's end and I'm gonna use her hope, holy power, to give me a bonus die. All right. And spell casting. And as you uh start spell casting, you hear. A knock at the door. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. A no, knock? No. Indeed. Wait. Yes, this podcast, I'm not gonna say it to me. Hello? Don't swear, you sweet <laughs> into it, God! Does it respond? Nothing. You hear more scraping. Knock once if you just want the orb and we'll leave us alone. Go ahead and roll me a perception check. 
Yeah, why am I talking to it? Let me move the camera <laughs> That's to your room why here. literally I was like, what are you doing? It knows we're here now. Uh, on your perception, you can hear the door in the room adjacent to you opening. Let's go to the <clears throat> I tr Would you like to make a silent move roll? Yes! Oh god. If we get in a fight, I'm dead. I know. I'm gonna use my casting to um, use sound. Sounds. Um. Yep. Uh, to make him believe we're flying through this window, we we're we gonna make winds sound like. Yeah, I know I'm it's terrible, but. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and all the while trying to cover up our silent movement, to open the door and close it behind us. Alright, so go ahead and roll me a silent move as well, real quick. Oh my god. Any bonuses? Uh, no bonuses right now. Oh god. No, don't worry too much about that. Yeah. Yeah. Oof. I don't yeah. think bonuses will save that. Nah. <clears throat> I'm gonna be a plus 100 bonus. No, no. Unless you want to re-roll them using fortune, but I want to say no. <laughs> Let's not do that. We have a very low chance. All right. So as you're trying to cleverly uh, distract with sounds outside, as you fidget with the door, and uh, I'll go ahead and open it again for you, real quick. Oh no! I oh, I destroyed my. As you open it, you. Uh, I want you guys to roll one more perception check. Uh, I don't like this. A... I reward that with my second part of an amul. Fuck you, amul! <laughs> I use um... a fortune point! Fuck it! I'm too s -s -s scared. <laughs> like zoink. Dude. Minus. Gotta figure Ooh. out rates. Okay, cool. Are we Shaggy and Scooby right now? Gustav, as you're opening the door, you turn around one more time just to take a look at your handiwork. And see this thing peeking its head through the window. Ah! <laughs> no, stop. I close the door. Oh, sorry. What? <laughs> Let me go ahead and... um. <laughs> Why? It is now initiative time. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Select that. There we go. Yeah, I'm right. pretty sure Alexa would scream. <laughs> you know, the uh, the picture works different. though. It's fantastic. No, no, no. Oh. I mean Alexa's picture, because I know it's snow, but the broken glass on the uh, the map kind of looks like maybe she got shattered glass on her. Gustav definitely let the most blood killing girly scream that you ever heard. Ned Flanders right. scream. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so now that it comes to it, I would like you guys to roll another. Perception check. No, there's more of them. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna make the rules public now, and I'm gonna go ahead and roll its check to see what happens. You guys are, of course, very aware of it and looking straight at it. Oh no, it's a basilisk. <laughs> you looked at it. Yeah, you need to fail perception roll while you're dead. All right. And Bird the thing it. just seems to be there, staring at you through the door. Gustav, what do you do? Close the door? First, it's looking at us through the window, right? So it's hanging on to it. 
Indeed. It's hanging on outside. Oh, uh, bad idea, buddy. You didn't count on my friend. My oldest friend. My best friend. Just, I'm trying to... Ah, well. The wind fuck. blasted off the... Yes! Uh, that legitimately scared me, by the way, Griff. <laughs> I'm glad you did that. I found gonna... the best picture for it, too. It was is fantastic. I'm gonna reroll that. I can't tell what it That's is, annoying. unfortunately. I don't yep. see half of the token there. Yeah, it's not fully inside. Well, yet. no, no, I can see it all. I just still don't understand what it is. I, I don't, I don't care. It's gonna I'll go down the raven. Um. Alright, so... Win a Vazor! Yeah! I don't care about the chaos! Drop to your death! Alright, I don't time. think I even really need to bother making the toughness check to see if it's stunned or not. Ah, uh, you know, I'll go ahead and roll it. At the same time, I super care about the chaos, but I'm really hoping not again spoiled milk. Alright, it, it is a tough cookie. And as you cast your Wind Blast, you can see the statue in a... Well, a very statuesque way, <laughs> completely unmovingly, just sort of tilt backwards against <laughs> the wind and fall backwards, supposedly into the ravine. Show me a perception check. Well, hold on. We got that chaos. Yep. Chaos is happening. Oh, chaos is also happening. Let's, let's see yeah. some chaos. Minor extended. Rupture. Your nose begins to bleed mm. continuously until you make successful toughness check. And I can make mark. No, I can mark. All right. Blood flows down onto you your me? robes from your nose. Oh, God. It's, it's going to be able to follow me with that. Oh, oh no. Okay. Well, let's, uh, let's get out of here. I don't All know. Right. Uh, so Close you spent your whole turn uh, channeling and casting. Oh no, wait! So that does uh, go perception to... roll, right? Yes, perception roll. Right I right. forgot to do it. Yeah. Ah, perception, it. the most important skill here. Yes. Oof. Go ahead and take the gear off the map because Alexa said that she had it. Uh, perception, perception. Yay! All right, you most certainly hear the sound of scraping and clawing echoing deep down in the ravine. I don't care. Let's run! All right, Alexa. Thanks, Shania. And let's run in the dark. Fuck it. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, we're getting out of here, and we're putting the gear in the thing and getting out of here, so I'm moving towards the end. All right, go ahead and move up to your movement. Do the th movement things. Yeah. All right, so you have chosen to run as fast as you can. Oh, fuck. The thing. I'm, um, I'm back on the um, normal map. Ah, uh, the map with gators, yeah. Map map. Not the combat map. Let me... Oh, wait, are you just, like, at the top of the map? Yeah. Oh! Yeah, these okay. are technically the same map. All right. I thought that would be uh, easier to do. Yeah. Because now you can roll up and you can see, like, where your torch is. Yeah. <laughs> Flanders scream. <laughs> All right. It is going to do things outside of your sight. And of course, do so. Uh, you still have the Wind Blast there. Let me go and see if I can rescue a Wind Blast token from a map or two. Uh, I know they stay here for one hour, but uh, if I don't have them in the light of sight, I cannot move them. But fuck it, I'm not moving them. I'm <laughs> running as fast as I can. I assume your wind blast is something like this. Yeah. Thank you, wind blast. Okay. Uh, did you, I need to move that to the back so that I can touch this token. There we go. Cool. All right. 
So things happen outside of your line of sight, and you can hear a lot of scraping. Gustav, what you gonna do? Run! Uh, what's my run movement? Do, 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 do. This now has one turn on it, because it is currently your turn. Uh, I have a run of 12, so what does that mean again? 12 meters? I think it's double. Oh! Yeah, you double it into meters. Alright, so... So technically, every square here is uh, two meters, but there's no squares, so. Yep. Right, so you ah. walk it all the way up there, straight underneath the uh, shaking statues. Yep. Alexa. I will get to the door and uh, open it. Ah, which door? That one. Okay, so let's go dynamic light layer. Open the door. Ah, and there's a monster. No, there's not. Okay. Do object tokens. Here we go. It. Oh, I forgot my toughness check. Oh yeah. I drawn in my own blood. <laughs> Let me go ahead and um represent that a little bit. This afternoon song is I'm trying in Japanese, I think I'm trying in Japanese, I really think so. Okay, so it is your turn again, Gustav, to bleed. Yee, toughness check. Yay! How Ooh, long you are, stop uh, bleeding. How long are combat rounds again? Ten seconds each. Ten seconds. You would literally need to fail 200 combat ro in a row <laughs> for that to become an emergency. I never yeah, know. I'm definitely under the assumption that the <laughs> nosebleed is not going to kill him. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. 20 minutes nonstop nosebleed would be an emergency. So, 200 rounds or so. Run, 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 run. I'm sorry, 600 rounds. No, 1,200 rounds. <laughs> Sorry, go back to that... Uh, a thousand! That, a million! No, that so, gift that Emmerich posted a little while ago of, of math. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so Gustav, you run through the door that was opened, and Alexa, you step in and close the door, or do you just keep running as well? Um, I'll close it. Alright, you close the door behind you, and go ahead and... do a -doop. And I'm gonna go ahead and roll. Do, 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 do. Where is it? All right. I would like you to make some silent move checks, but with plus twenty, as you are going to be gaining some ground. Is it a full action or a half action? Uh, to what? To silently move? Yep. Uh, it doesn't matter. This is uh, DM Fiat ending the uh, attack. It can't matter, because if it's an action, I would like to cast my get one rule on your next action spell. Uh, it's it's a non-action, but if you start shouting magic, you won't be very quiet. Uh, yeah. So I'll, I'll leave that choice up to you. You can choose to not be quiet, or you could... Uh, I'm not quiet of a way, so... Okay. <clears throat> so you can hear. Oh, I'm on the wrong layer. I need to get that skill so I move. Good. Oh, small detail I forgot to say. While you were next to the window, you did in fact see a small amount of sunlight coming down the ravine into the area, and of course, sort of illuminating the ravine in a little bit of the room. There was a tiny bit of light. Uh, but, uh, more important details that you uh, care more about right now than the amount of light is that you do hear a large amount of uh, scraping and running, and you can hear banging upon the door before it steps away and leaves. 
encounter is over. And we'll... <laughs> and we'll all go back up to happy fun land here at the manor. Uh, you are heading down towards the quarters. Mm -hmm. And of disturbing note, all of the skeletons in the corridor no, have changed their position. <laughs> of course no. they're all... They're all now facing the ravine instead. Oh. That's good. Is it? Yes. <laughs> Are skeletons moving on their own a good thing? It's a compass. We can know where it is. And I'm going to snap a skull and see if it still move if I put it in another direction. Go ahead and roll me magical sense. As you casually desecrate the dead. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> All right. With this thing in your hand, you can feel it trying to sort of move, but its movements are, of course, awkward without, like, a whole neck attached to it, and the I fact mean, that it's, like, firmly in your hands and not, like, rolling around or anything. No, I let it roll around. That's but, the thing. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, as soon as you set it down, uh, realizing that is what you need to do, uh, you can sort of watch as the magic within it sort of coalesces, of course, into sort of a uh, geode-like rainbow. And the head tilts in various directions, just sort of seemingly tracking left and right. Cool! Let's run! <laughs> and they keep... Uh... I oh, whisper cool. many, many prayers to die oh, yeah. about how horrible please this is. Please shall ya, please shall ya, please shall ya, please shall ya. Have mercy, have mercy, have mercy. But yeah, we'll we'll make a beeline to the gatehouse. <laughs> All right, you make a beeline to the gatehouse. I'm going to go ahead and make a roll. Are you trying to hide or just booking it? Oh no, we're booking it. <laughs> Fuck that. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. As you uh, rush all the way to the gatehouse, not stopping for a moment, uh, you come up to the uh, mechanism as before, and you're planning to set the gear into it, aren't you? Yeah, but yeah, we stop it first, stop. remember? Yeah. All right. So you take the gear, you shove it in, and it's there. No, we, we, operate in, we have some instruction to operate this, so we're going to do that. All right, so uh, give me a reading check. Uh, and I'm going to put the skull on the ground to just warn us. Okay. Right now, it does appear to still be pointing sort of towards the ravine, towards the south. Good. Uh, well, south on the image, I suppose. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, I guess I'll we'll read the right check. You uh look flip through the book trying to find the proper instructions for how to operate the gate and with the gear into place you reactivate it so that uh all the gears clink together and begin to turn. And then once you pull another lever, you begin to hear uh the grinding of mechanisms as the gate tries to open. And as you look over the side of the gatehouse, you can see a large amount of debris has been placed in front of the gate. Yeah, we didn't clear it first. Damn it! Okay. Damn it! We're gonna survive! We're gonna and survive! And as the gate screeches, trying to open, you hear an unearthly, scraping sort of howl throughout the entire ravine. Is it semi-open? Can we squeeze through it? Uh, it does not appear to have budged very much. Not more than an inch. Let's it's not open. even fully open. All or, right. Uh, not open enough to really have a gap yet. Oh, I, I will start clearing shit. Um, no, you don't need to. I'm going to ask for another initiative check for just <laughs> order of actions. No. Oh. Uh, uh -huh. 
to select you. Oh no, this is bad. Descending order. All right. So with the scraping of the gates. Alexa. Okay. You see the gate down below, trying to push all of the uh, debris in front of it out of the way, but it does not appear able to under its own force. Okay, I'm going to go down there and start pulling shit away from the... so we can squeeze it. Alright, give me a strength check. Okay. I'm going to fortune point that. Come on, come on. Oh, come on! All right. All right. You begin sort of moving the lighter objects out of the way first, but you don't feel like that's really making much of an impact right now. There's a large table and armory like up up against the uh, side of it, but trying to move it like this would probably cause it to fall backwards on top of you. So you sort of just sort of take a step away and reconsider bad decisions for a moment. Okay. Gustav. Could I, hypothetically, use a wind blast to clear out the debris? Uh, you sure could try. Because I'm a noodle, so I don't have any... Shh. Sorry. So I'm very any happy about this. Very happy about the wind. Wind blast. Yeah, a lot of wind. You can see a lot of the debris begin to fly away from the point of impact of your spell. And this appears to have started clearing the way. Uh, the gate is actually starting to uh, open itself up some. And you can see the crack of light from outside now. It's once again, almost we're blinding. Once again, we're saved by wind blast. Yes. I would like you two to roll perception. <laughs> I don't want to roll perception. I don't want to see anything. Damn it. I damn mouse. It. Damn. Ah, perception. 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 Good day. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Yay. All right. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Gustav, as you are uh, successfully blasting away debris from the front of the gate, you suddenly feel... Let's see if it hits. Oh, no. You suddenly feel like a breeze of air around your neck momentarily as you sort of like lean forward to see everything in front of you. You feel the air behind you and as you turn your head, you see the thing in the gatehouse with you. Ah! <laughs> Alexa! Alexa! Um. The gate is opening. There is a Bears crack of light from outside. I will try to clear the path even more. Give me a strength check. Does the wind pushing help any? Uh, the wind does kind of keep you from immediately getting uh, a much closer without, uh, I believe it's a strength check or you get knocked down. 